book of Numbers, the book of Numbers, chapter 13, verse 30. The book of Numbers, chapter 13, verse 30. Numbers, chapter 13, verse 30. Amen? Numbers, chapter 13, verse 30. Numbers, chapter 13, verse 30. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. Let us go up at once and possess it. Amen. Look to your neighbor and say, Fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. Okay, you may be seated in the third. Amen. Caleb stood the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. Amen. You know, this is the truth about the children of Israel almost getting into the promised land, right there, right. ready to get in. Amen? Amen. And they lacked progression. It was right there. All they had to do was progress. And today we're going to learn the puzzle to our, our progress. Amen. The puzzle to our progress, and we'll call it fourth in inches. Right. Fourth and inches. Amen. Today we'll have understanding of scriptural football. Right. Scriptural football. Fourth and inches. I'm just going to go through the puzzle to our progress because we got to get in. Got to get in. Amen. Amen. Everybody say we get in. We get Amen. in. Fourth and inches. It's a place where almost is not good enough. Almost. Not good. Second place is no good. Mm -mm. Nice try. Don't work. Nope. As long as we got this far, that don't work. Nope. We got to look at our life as a football game right now. Right. The situation is time is running out. Right. We only have enough time for one more play. One more play. Now everyone is cheering. Mm. Everyone's cheering. You got the, the enemies crowd cheering is the demons. Woo. We got the holy angels that's cheering for us from heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. The environment is stacked with both sides talking. Mm. Amen? Amen. And you're getting in, others do not want you to get in. Right. Amen? Amen. Everything is riding on this last effort. Mm. We're all playing for the trophy of dominion. Hallelujah. The trophy of salvation. Yep. The trophy of eternal life. Right. Where is this going to put us in our destination of the spiritual hall of fame? Mm. Either we end up in a place known as hell, or we end up in the hall of fame of heaven. Mm. Amen. Are you hearing me? I'm hearing me. Today we want to get into the playbook mm. and mm. walk through it so we can understand the puzzle right. to our progress. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. The first thing we want to understand that we want to do if we're going to get in on this last play. Mm. First thing is we got to huddle up. Huddle up. We got to huddle up. What do I mean by that? We must be team oriented. Mm. God is calling us to huddle up. Huddle up. No more procrastination. Mm -hmm. We're trying to progress on this play. Right. We're trying to get in on this play. Mm. So we have to call a huddle. Call I'm huddle. calling everybody to huddle up. Because the Bible, the playbook instructs us to be jointly fit together. Jointly. If we're going to get in this time, we got to be jointly fit together. Amen. Open up the playbook to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 16. Amen. To see if our playbook is correct and instructing us what to do. We have to huddle up. Right. All the true believers are being called to huddle up for this last play. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yep. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 16. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 16. Mm -hmm. From whom the whole body fitly joined together. Fitly what? Joined together. The whole body got to fitly be joined together. Amen. That means we got to be together, lined up in a circle, ready to play. Ready to play. Fitly joined together. Amen. We got to do this together. We can't be against one another in this last drive. Amen. Fitly joined together. Go ahead. And compacted uh -huh. by that which every joint supplies, mm -hmm. according to the effectual working in the measure of every part. We got to be compacted together. Amen. Close enough together so nothing can get in. Nothing. Amen. Amen. Fitly joined together. Amen. Go ahead. Make an increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. We had to huddle up, guys. Amen. Amen. Yes. If we're going to get in on these fourth and inches, and we're almost there, we got to be compacted together, mm -hmm. joined together, yep. feed off one another. Right. Amen. Amen. Give me Ephesians chapter four, verse thirteen, and 
make sure the play goes right. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13. Uh -huh. Till we all come in the unity of the faith. We gotta have unity on this last time. Unity. We keep claiming unity, but we're not in unity. Amen. We gotta be closer than what we was last year. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of Mount Union, who's very successful in football, been to the national championship times, won it at times, but also lost to, to the same team and lost last night. Yes, we know him as a good team, but not getting all the way in is not good enough. Right. We got to be fitly joined together, and we got to understand that we got to be united at this last play. Gotcha. It comes down to one play. One play. Amen? Amen. You got to realize how close you are. Right. United till we come to the unity. United until the last day till Christ comes back. Amen. United until he calls us to heaven. Right. Amen. Hear me? Amen. We got to be united. Everybody say huddle up. Huddle up. It's the first part of the puzzle. We got to huddle up. Mm -hmm. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 14. Amen. Are you understanding this scriptural football? Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, we'll start at verse 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 14. Uh huh. For the body is not one member, but many. The body's not Greg Roby. The body's not Maksu. The body's not Cherry. The body is many. Many. Amen? Yep. It's not one member, but it's many. Yes. In this huddle, understand that everybody has to be together on the same page in this huddle. Amen, brother. All of us in this huddle, when we break out of this huddle, got to get in together. Right. It's not been good if I try to dive in the end zone and you ain't celebrating with me. Right. No you good. understand what I'm saying? No good. Mm. Go to verse 14. Verse, or sorry, sorry, go to verse 18. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 18. We're still talking about the huddle. Go ahead. But now have God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it had pleased him. You are placed in the Hebrew nation mm. by God himself. Amen. Once you understand that, you can be excited whether you're in the huddle for this player or on the sideline chair. Yes. Amen, brother. Every one of them is in the body. Yes. Where God gets you positioned in this body, he's pleased with that. He's pleased. You got to be pleased where you're at in this huddle. Amen, brother. Are you hearing me? Amen. Give me verse 21. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 21. Mm -hmm. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, uh -huh. I have no need of thee. I can't say I don't, have, I don't need Mark Sue because I'm a preacher and I don't need nobody. Amen. I can't say I don't need Brother Josh or Sister Shay. Right. I can't say that. No. Nope. We're one body, four inches, Amen. one play left. Right. I need everybody. You need everybody. That's how you should feel. Amen. By the next person that's next to you. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Nor again the head to the feet. Mm -hmm. I have no need of you. Are you understanding this? Amen. We need each other. We need each other. Amen. Amen. Verse 25 and 26. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 25 and 26. He's saying, huddle up. This is the first puzzle to our progress. Go ahead. That there should be no schism in the body, uh -huh. but that the members should have the same care one for another. If we're going to get in, we got to care the same way for one another. Amen. We got to understand this when we're huddling up and God's bringing us into one another. We got to have the same care for one another. Amen. Pastor Dow got to love me like I love him, and I got to love him like he loves me. Right. I got to love Tori the way he loves me, and, and vice versa. Amen. If there ain't that same type of love, somebody got to get out of the huddle. Right. Because we're going in. Going in. Amen. Amen. If you don't think you can love each other the same way, get out the huddle and let somebody else sub in. Amen. 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 Don't get in the way. Amen. Verse 26. Verse 26. Uh huh. And whether one member suffer, uh huh, all the members suffer with it. If we don't get in, if Brother Marksu don't get in, I don't get in. Right. Here we go. Brother Marksu get fired, I get fired. Brother Marksu get in the fight, I get in the fight. Amen. Are you saying what I'm saying? Amen. Go ahead. Or one member be honored, uh -huh. all the members rejoice with it. Somebody get promoted, we should all be happy. Brother Marcus and uh, uh, Sister Rachel get a car, we should all be excited about the car. Amen. 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 Brother Josh get his first apartment, we should all be excited about that. Right. Amen. Don't hate about it. Don't hate. Be excited about it. Amen. We all going in this together. Right. Are you hearing what, what I'm saying? Amen. All I'm saying is we're all diving in. in so what you Saying. Fourth and inches, say fourth and inches. Fourth, fourth and inches. inches. If we had an understanding that it's time to huddle up, right. guarantee we're getting in now. Amen. We know it's the last time. Last time. We know it's the last play. Amen. In our conditions and our position that we are in our life right now. But if we huddle up, God's saying right now, we can get in. We can get in. Amen? Amen. Yeah. The second part of the puzzle. Mm. Second part of the puzzle. You're going to hear some wisdom keys here, so make sure you're writing them down. Second part of the puzzle is forget your last play. Mm. Forget your last play. Hope, hopefully you understand that football. And 
If you never heard about football, hopefully you're going to learn what it is. You're right. Forget the last play. Forget the last season. You're right. Forget the last play. Forget the last season. Get about it. First and foremost, learn from it. Mm -hmm. Recognize what it cost the team. And then move on from it. Right. Amen? Mm -hmm. Forget that last penalty. Forget that last false start. Right. We know maybe your last season of 2011 was a season of penalties. Right. But now you know what it cost you. Now you know what it cost the team. And guess what? We're still in the game. Amen, brother. You have to be able to forget your last play, right. your last sin. Yep. First, focus on it, understand it, learn from it, understand it. Seriously, if you keep committing penalties and they keep pulling flags, learn from it, recognize that was last season. Yep. This season, we're in the championship. We're in fourth and inches. Amen, brother. Amen? Amen. Here's a wisdom to you for that. When, when you replay your past, mm. you will poison your progress. Right. When you replay your past, you will poison your progress. Give me Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14, so we can see that it's in the playbook. Amen. If you replay your last penalty, if you go over and over your sins, over and over and over again, and then you're so scared you're going to keep committing the same sin, you can't move on to the next play. You're going to mess up the next play. Right. You guys understand what I'm saying? Yep. You keep worrying about the fact that you fumble last play, when you get in the game this time, you're going to fumble again. Amen. Learn from it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Don't dismiss it, but learn from it. Right. Amen? Amen. Then once you learn from it, forget about it. Right. You turn the ball over, it doesn't matter. And I get it next time, I'm not doing it again. Right. Are you hearing me? Amen. But if you replay your past, you'll poison your progress. Right. So Paul gives instructions what we should do out of his playbook in Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 and verse 14. Uh-huh. Brother, I count not myself to have apprehended. Uh-huh. We ain't there yet. Go ahead. But this one thing. But this one thing. I do. I do. Forgetting those things. I forget the fact that we fumbled on the one yard line last year in the championship. In right. 2011. Amen. One thing I do, I forget about that. Go right. ahead. Which are behind. It's behind me now. And reaching forth unto those things. I'm reaching forth to those things. Which are before. Hey, all I know is eternal life is right before us. Amen. Amen. All I know is dominion is right before us. Hallelujah. Prosperity is right before us. Salvation. Joy is right before us. Yes, brother. Peace is right before us. Amen. Last year I didn't get it. But right. this year I'm getting in. Amen. 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 Say four and inches. Four and inches. inches. Keep reading, brother. Verse 14. Uh -huh. I press toward the mark. We got to press towards. Now we're all in the huddle. Mm -hmm. We know when we get up to this line, everybody's compacted together. We're running a power play. Mm -hmm. We're going to press forth no matter what. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mark for the prize of the high calling. For the prize of the high calling. Go ahead. Of God in of Christ God. Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Amen. We're pressing forward to get into the end zone. Amen. Into the kingdom of God. Amen. We're pressing now. Mm. Last year we gave up. This year we're going in. Right. Amen. Amen. It's just four inches. Four inches. Amen. Amen. You got to forget that last play. Yeah. Because what you'll have is these spiritual spiritual sports analysts mm. replaying, replaying last year's shortcomings. Right. You'll have these spiritual broadcasters telling everybody else what you did last night. Mm. Telling everybody else what you did last year. Mm. Telling everybody about that so that they can always remember how you don't want to mess up the team last year. Right. And didn't get in the fourth inches. Right. You got to cut off the TV. Cut it off. Cut off the media. Right. Don't worry about what they said that you did last year because you're back in the finals and it's fourth and inches again. Amen. I got a second chance. Hallelujah. Fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. Amen. 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 Number three of the puzzle to our progress. Everybody wants a progress, right? Amen. We ain't settled on for where you was at last year. We ain't settled, brother. Amen? Amen. So God, what does he tell us to do for the progress? And number three, quit complaining. Amen. Quit complaining. Amen, brother. Quit complaining about the last play. Right. Quit complaining about the referee of life. Mm. Jesus. Sometimes life makes a call that you have no control. Man. All you got to do is keep playing. Keep playing. Amen. Quit complaining about what the referee said. Referee represents, uh, uh, referees represents the pains and the aches from your past. Mm. Quit complaining about the pains and aches from your parents who tried to referee your life and they did it the wrong way or made a bad call in your life. Well, it's over now. You're grown up. You're in the game. Amen. Quit complaining about the referee, the boss, who, who wrongfully did something or wrongly directed you the wrong way 
or did something or made a decision or didn't promote you, forget the explanation, forget the complaint about what the boss did. Right. They're still at the workplace. Yes. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Forget about what the teachers didn't teach you in grade school and growing up now that we know that the referees, those teachers, teaching us wrong and teaching us evolution. Forget it now because you got the playbook in your hand. Yes. Quit complaining. Complaining. Amen? Amen. Complaining is like unsportsmanlike conduct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus. When you complain, it's like unsportsmanlike conduct. Mm -hmm. You constantly complaining in the huddle when we're trying to call the next play. Trying to call the next play. Brother and sister, I know what you did last play. I was there. You're right. Who cares about it? Who cares? Quit complaining saying I can't do it. My ankles hurt. We're at four and inches with no, no time left. No time. Mom did something wrong with me. It doesn't matter. We're in the huddle. In the huddle. Dad raped me. It doesn't matter. We're in the, in the huddle. Someone stole my money. It doesn't matter. We're in the huddle. In the huddle. You in there complaining, you get a flag. Right. Unsportsmanlike like conduct. Mm. Why do you get flagged? Because you're going against the playbook. Give me the playbook. Philippians chapter 2, verse 14. If you go against this, it's a penalty. Amen. Philippians chapter 2, verse 14. Mm -hmm. Do all things. Do all things. Without murmuring and dispute. Do all things without murmuring and, and disputing. Do all things without arguing. Do Amen. all things without complaining. Mm. Do them all. Yes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Last year, we got better without complaining, but we're still complaining. Yes. But we only complain in so certain areas. Mm -hmm. Now, do all things without it. All of them. The mindset is no complaining, no more excuses. We got to get in. Yeah. Amen. Are you Amen. hearing me? Yeah, we're getting in there. Write this down. Never complain about your present. Never, never complain about your present. If you're unwilling to move towards your future, mm -hmm. never complain about your present. If you're unwilling to work towards your future or work towards the progress, never complain about it. Yep. Why are you complaining about where we're at if you ain't even trying to get in the end zone? Yep. Why are you complaining about that you're at a stalemate when you're not really trying to get in the end zone? Right. That's Why are you complaining when you're on the sideline and you want to be in the game, but you wasn't willing to do what it takes to get in the game? Wow, there we go. Amen, brother. Quit complaining about the bad calls on your life. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yep. So far, we got three pieces to the puzzle of our progress. Right. We got a call huddle. Mm -hmm. God bringing all his people together. Mm -hmm. We got to forget last year. Forget last year. We got a quick complaining. Everybody say red zone. Red zone. If you got to those three puzzles and you believe in it, now you understand that we're in the red zone. Amen. You got a red zone mentality. Mm -hmm. Again, fourth and inches, we're in the red zone, we're on a one yard line. Almost won't get it. So if you're in the red zone mentality, you got to understand you're going to be in the battle in the trenches. Mm -hmm. When you get from the 20 to the zero yard line, it's the battle of the trenches. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by that? Listen, you can't get in without suffering. Right. You can't get in without tribulations. This last play in the red zone makes it harder now. Right. Prepare yourself for the battle of the trenches. Amen. Fourth and inches. Right. Fourth and the fourth right. part of the puzzle, now that we understand that, write this down. If you're going to more, move forward, <laughs> You got to see ourselves victorious. Mm, yes. You can shorten that by saying change your perspective. Mm, mm, mm. The fourth piece of the puzzle is changing your perspective. If we're going to move forward, we got to see ourselves victorious. We got to see ourselves in the end zone. Right. We got to see our, 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 our current condition. Right. In the red zone. Right. Fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. Last play. Last play. Same way we was last year. Amen. But now we got to have a different mentality. Amen. We can't see ourselves as what we were last year where we failed. We got to see ourselves in 2012 as getting in. Amen. 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 If you change the perspective, we will progress. Amen. Write it down. Brother Nick loves this one. Mm. What happens in your mind mm. will happen in time. Yep. What happens in your mind will happen in time. I didn't get in last year. But I see myself getting in this year. Had no job last year, I see myself getting one this year. Right. Didn't know no scriptures last week, I see myself knowing all scriptures. Amen. All of them. I hated and was jealous last year, now I'm full of 
joy yes. and encouragement. Mm -hmm. Amen, brother. Say fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. inches. What happens in your mind will happen in time. Right. See yourself filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. See yourself with multiple children growing up in the faith of God. Amen. See yourself being a camp around holy angels in the presence of God with you. See yourself grabbing on every manner of fruit trees. Mm. See yourself with no pain, no suffering, and no tears. Mm. See yourself sitting by the Apostle Paul and King David. Amen. See yourself walking with Abraham telling you stories. See yourself mm. where there is Amen. no need for light because Christ is right there. Woo, no light. See Christ. yourself moving to Texas and starting a million, million dollar ministry Amen. church to provide for the whole nation. Whole nation. Not for us, Not for the us. whole nation. The nation. Every dollar is coming out on summer. Amen. Amen, brother. Say fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. Intolerance of your present. Mm, mm, mm. Intolerance of your present schedules your future. Mm, Jesus. Intolerance of your present schedules your future. Right. In other words, we're tired of getting to the goal line and never getting in. Woo. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of just saying I know a little bit of scriptures or speaking a little bit of the name of Christ. I want the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I want miracles, signs, and wonders. Wonder. I want people raising from the dead. I, I yeah. want my mom and dad saved. Yes. I want to progress in my assignment. Amen. I want to know my assignment. Right. Amen, brother. Hallelujah. Say fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. So we know that part of the, the fourth part of the puzzle was what happens in your mind will happen at the time. That's why you got to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Yes. That's Ephesians chapter 4, verse 23, if you just mm -hmm. want to write it down real quick. Ephesians 4, 23, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And the intolerance of your present schedules your future. Once you can't tolerate where you're at now, which is a good thing, it will schedule your future. Amen, brother. It will schedule your progression. I'm tired of play after play. Down one, first down, second down, third down, and we didn't move. Right. See, some of us got to be tired of the first phase of your walk with God. Mm. The second down phase of your walk with God. Mm. The third down phase of your walk with God. You got to realize you only got one more down now. One more down. You can't tolerate being in the same position. No gain. No gain. Say fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. Intolerance of your presence schedules your future. Give me Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, so you can see it in the playbook. See, if you can see it in the playbook, you will begin to build faith. You will begin to build uh, 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 spiritual football motivation. Amen. You have motivation. Amen? Amen, brother. Galatians chapter 4, verse 9. Mm -hmm. And let us not be worried in well doing, uh -huh. for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. If you don't faint. Let us not be worried well doing for in due season. Due season. And this is the season. This is the season. 2012 is the season for us. Season, brother. Amen? Amen. Number 12 represents order and foundation. Yeah. Order and foundation. The number 12 represents that. So in 2012, we'll have order, we'll have foundation. Yes. It's governmental rule. Mm. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Amen, brother. It says, let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. This is the season. Amen. 2012 is the season. And 12 represents order and foundation. We got to get in order. We got to set a foundation. It represents governmental authority. Mm. Not the United States government, but the government that's upon his shoulders. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> this is the year we will Amen, see brother. the government of Christ take effect. Mm. mm mm, -mm. Yes. Say fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. Mm. We know that we're in the trenches. We know it. This time when you get met at the line and you get handed the ball, mm. keep going and treading. The and they'll give us forward progress. Amen. <laughs> See, if you understand football, you'll understand the right. progress. Because when you caught the ball mm. and they tapped you, you kept moving. Mm. They don't put the ball where you ended up at, they put it where you caught it moving forward. You're right. Amen. Amen, brother. Got to keep it moving. Amen. 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 Number five, piece of the puzzle. Piece of the puzzle. Puzzle to our progress number five. Let's get it. We got a call an audible. Mm. Call an audible. Mm. Here we go. Call an audible. It's a good play. Those don't understand football, it's mm. when you call a play, and then you come up to the huddle, you recognize the defense set up against you, and your play is not going to work, mm. so you got to be wise enough to call an audible. Another call an audible. Amen. Call it. 
Here's what you do for the fifth part of the puzzle. Recognize what needs change and readjust it. Mm -hmm. Recognize what needs change in your life and what needs readjusted. Amen. Recognize what needs change in your church and what needs readjusted. Right. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. That's the spiritual audible. Yes. We gotta call an audible. Audible. We gotta recognize when it's necessary. Mm. You can't keep trying to do the same thing over and over and expect a different results. That's what? Insanity. Insanity. Yep. So this time when we get there, instead of not get, we didn't get in last season, when we, when we come now, we call them the same play. Stick it to what God said. But we're wise enough to hear his voice saying, change something. Change something. Mm. Amen? Amen. If you want to progress, if you want to get in, you got to change something. Change something. Our future is decided by what we're willing to change. Mm. Amen. Your future, your progress, your future. So when I'm saying future, I'm, re I'm, I'm referring to progress. Our future is decided by what we're willing to change. You want something to change in your life? You want to get further in life? You got to change. Yes. You got to recognize what needs change. Amen. Amen? Right. Yeah. You can't correct what you're unwilling to confront. Right. You can't correct what you're unwilling to confront. I'm going to say it again. Mm -hmm. You cannot correct what you're unwilling to confront. You want things to ch change in the churches? Confront all the false doctrines. Mm -hmm. You want things to change in your house? Confront the people that you have to do to get a change. Amen. Things to change in your neighborhood? Confront the things that are causing the problems in your neighborhood. Right. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yep. Say call an auto. Call an auto. What you can tolerate, mm -hmm. what you can tolerate, you cannot change. Yeah. What you can tolerate, you cannot change. For instance, if you can tolerate the murders of babies, then you can't change the abortion can't situation. Change it. Can't change it. If you can tolerate uh, uh, um, um, gang, gang banging in your neighborhoods, it ain't gonna change. It ain't gonna change. But when you can get sick of that, you can do something to change it. Yes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. You got to be able to recognize when to call an audible. Right. How to do it? Sometimes you gotta talk at halftime. Mm. And to talk. A good coach will be able to give a halftime speech to change the outcome for the second half. Right. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you gotta call a timeout. Mm. You gotta stop moving. Mm. Be able to assess the scene. Right. Make the adjustments. You gotta call a timeout. Amen? Right, amen. To be able to recognize that where the change is needed at or to be readjusted, sometimes you gotta go back and watch the game tape. Right. Watch the films. Amen? Yep. Sometimes you just gotta make replacements. Amen, brother. Maybe our ministry didn't get where we wanted to get to this past year. But we know we're getting this time because other people we had to kick off the team. Amen. Or get replacements. Right. Are you hearing me? Yep. To be honest, which we never kicked going off the team, they quit. They quit. Amen? Amen. You have to call an auto. Mm. Listen, if you recognize what needs to be changed or readjusted, you can get in. <coughs> Here's the problem. The reason why we're not getting in it's because people's looking over at the linebackers mm. and they got fear. Scared of the linebackers. Mm. You never get in until you get rid of that fear. Right. Caleb and Autumn said, let's go out and possess it at once. They can see themselves getting in. They've been in the end zone before. But the majority of the people is fearful of going in because they said we're like grasshoppers in their eyesight. We can't get in. They're stacked up against us. The odds are stacked up against us at the goal line. Mm. And they're scared to get in. Mm. We got to make a change about that. Got to make a change. Amen? Amen, bro. Our future is decided by what we're willing to change. Amen. We're willing to change your mindset and quit fear. Because the fears will stop you from getting in the end zone last year. Yeah. Amen. That's true, brother. Are you understanding the scriptural football? Yeah. Hallelujah. Where are we at? Number six? Let's go to number six. six. Sixth part of the puzzle, to our progress. Mm -hmm. If we're going to progress, everybody, those listening by internet, if God is huddling you with us, I know we're going in. Right. Amen? Amen. You got to understand it's number six. Everyone has to get in position. Right. In order to progress, you got to be in position. 
You got to be in position. He's understanding that. That's true. You got to know the 